Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jeremy and Jeff here for Imaginary Achievements. Man, you don't feel like you're feeling this at all. Uh, no, not really. Uh, Dying Light, so uh, all about the grind and the island lived, so two we're doing in this game. Those that are the uh, fake achievements that you created? Yes. Okay. That there's no reason to get other than just to do more stuff in the game, because the game's really good. Uh, oh, Liberate the Loot overlay. Cave is all about the grind. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if you can see the little tile there, but it has a Dinklebot in there. Yeah, I'm uh, familiar with the loot cave. It's where uh, it's the destiny call out. Did you know that if you stay and you kill all the enemies in the loot cave, you get another message? Yeah, and that's uh, that's what the achievement is going to be. Oh shit! <laughs> Jump the gun for you. <laughs> I guess you did. Spoiler know that. alert! I guess it, you you also have the achievement. <laughs> yeah, there's this cave on the uh, northeast side of the slums. So just run between these two cliffs. You're gonna jump over this wall, swim under, make sure you have some good weapons. Because once you're inside, you're going to get a message that's going to say uh, your destiny is to create your legend and get loot. That happens to me when I'm inside all the time. <laughs> nice. Do you get good loot? <laughs> uh, you know, it depends on how virile I'm feeling. Ugh. <laughs> so anyways, they're going to spawn zombies for about three minutes or so. And you just got to stay alive, take them all out. I think they're mostly just walkers. There might be a few virals in there. How many uh, hours would you say you've put into this game so far? I've been playing it nonstop for the past two days, so... Is that why you haven't gotten your work done? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is my work right here, Jeff. We're watching it. Oh, right. But uh, there's your second message where it patches out uh, the zombies and tells you to go do some quests. You also get a 1,000 experience, and you can get all about the grind, so... The experience is good, but it's the 20 fake gamer score that really matter. Yeah, you know, that'll add up over time. I get that trophy, too, because <laughs> I don't know what the hell those are for. Uh, but the next one is going to be The Island Lives, because this one's going to be a shout-out to Dead Island. Okay. Uh, construct the right hand of Glova. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Dead Island, there was the left hand of Glova was a weapon you could get. And it would, like, knock people back with electricity, right? Yep. So and so everything. this one's really similar. It's in the uh, northwest side of Old Town, and you need a certain mission for it. Uh, you need that side mission right there, which I can't read from this far away. What shadow of the King. Shadow of the King. You don't know if it really said that or not. I could have just made that up. Uh, it sounded right. It was I'm something not about kings either. and having shadows, yeah. you know, something like that. Uh, you're going to find these old ruins. You just want to run up behind them, and this is easier if you have the grappling hook. Uh -huh. you got to be level 12 for that on the survivor. Uh, you can climb up there if you can't, but you just kind of grapple up there. Boop, Yoink. And grab this unknown, unknown. on the ground. Just and a little gem. Yoink. And uh, watch out for a bombers because they hang around this area. Boop. I have yet to encounter one of them in the game, and uh, a bomber? I've been playing for way too long. You yeah. are really lucky not to see a bomber. I guess so, yeah. They'll kill you instantly. Uh, down next to this bolter location on the uh, southeast, you're going to find your next unknown. It's just right on the beach. Is it far away from the other one? I didn't even know. It's on the total opposite side of okay, the map. Okay, that figures. Yep. And there's no fast travel in this game, so... Yoink! Sucks. Another good reason to have the grapple hook. Yeah. Because once you're done, you go all the way back to the northwest side of the map... All right. Run across the whole city to the safe house. This is why you need the mission, because this house won't be open if you don't have the mission. A, the house is held up pretty well, considering it's a zombie invasion. Yeah, it's got those UV lights, and it's got a skull over here. If you remember in Dead Island, you used to find colored skulls and yeah. put them down and get weapons. Put. So you put the two eyes in there, and put... There we go. So once the eyes are in, back away, because both the eyes will uh, light on fire. And there they go. Oh, yeah. Shh little satanic ritual happening and there will be a bolt of lightning in front of you which Jesus. will drop the uh, blueprints for your uh, right hand of Glova. You need 30 herbs and one bottle of alcohol but combine those and you can get 10 grenades the right hand of Glova and uh, so once you construct it you'll get the achievement and these things are awesome. They're like sludge balls that stick to stuff. These are the Glova things? Yeah these are the they count as grenades so you just can throw it into a group. You'll see it's kind of a sludge ball. Uh-huh. And then it just goes, boop. Holy shit. So it's really overpowered if you can find enough herbs to use it. But uh, there you go, guys. There's two in Dying Light. This is a great game. So if you have suggestions for more, put them in the comments or tweet them. Hashtag Merry Achievements, and we'll do them. Shout out to Herbs and Alcohol. Herb.